Welcome to the account solution. On this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use or set up a simple inventory management template on Excel. By inventory, I mean the stock. You could be in retail business or wholesale business or manufacturing. This template will help you track the stock of items that come in and the items that go out. When you buy stock for resale, you record them and when you sell those stocks, you record them and you have your stock balance. When you receive materials for production, you record them as stock received and when you issue those materials for production, you record them as stock issued. When goods are produced as finished products from raw materials, you receive the finished goods as stock in and when they are sold to the sales department, you record them as what stock out. In this template, we're using just stock in and stock out and get our stock balance. Once you download this template from our website, you get this page just on instructions to enable you to use it effectively. You go to the next page on setup. On setup, you're looking at the company name, current user, not so important, then the file name. We just call this retail inventory management as a file name. Okay, let's give this ABC International Limited and the current user is Carlo Ezine. All right, okay, next we need to set up our product names. You need to um, list out the names of the product that you have in your business. Let's take for example, we are into electronics, we sell, we buy and sell gadgets, phones, tabs, laptops, computer sets, and the rest of them. So just list out all our different products we have in our business. Okay, I'll just go ahead and list out the different products that I want to buy and sell in this retail business. I have HP laptop. HP Complete Set PC, Lenovo 10, Samsung, Microsoft, Dell Laptop, Nokia, HP Laptop, Infinite, Wikolani. Now what I need to do next is to assign product code to all these items. You can assign any code you want to assign to them. For me, I've chosen the numbers 11001, 11002, 11003 to identify the various stock that I have. Next, you need to categorize this stock into various product group. For example, this is HP Laptop 8, they are under Laptops. HP Complete Set PC, they are under Desktop. Lenovo 10 Tab, they are under Tablets. Samsung LCD Television. Television. Microsoft 10 tab, they're under tablets, these are laptops, phones, Nokia 310 under phones, laptops, phones, and phones. So these are the various categories. I have laptops, desktop, tablet, televisions, and phones. These are the various categories that I have my products on. You can have add more products down to um, the end of the table. And once you add the, the, the once you add the product names, always put the product code and the group for them. When you are done with this, you move to the next item. Set up your partner's name. The partners could be suppliers or your customers. By suppliers, I mean those you buy your stock from, and by customers, those that buy your stock when you retail them. Now, if you are into manufacturing, your partner could be the company that supplies raw materials to you and also the production manager who receives raw materials from the store. Your partner could also be the sales rep who receives the finished product for sale. You need to now get the partner's name listed under this table and the partner type. I've listed my partner's name as this. Now, I need to now 
define them who are they this guy is a customer 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 supplier just computers customers supplier customer customer now by general customers i mean those customers are not regular they come once in a while to buy then when, when you have regular customers you can define their names here on your table but for everyday customers you can just categorize all of them and call them general customers there's no point writing the names of all those that come to your shop to buy a piece of item once in a while once you're done with this you now you are done with setup you need to move straight to record your stock i get to stock records now here we have a date invoice number type partner product name quantity and unit amount date is a date you are either buying the goods or selling the goods invoice number when you are buying from your suppliers suppliers invoice given to you is what is what you quote on this table the type it could be stock in or stock out when you're receiving stock is stock in when you're selling stock is stock out when you're receiving raw materials stock in when you're issuing raw materials for production is what stock out partners could be any of them your customers or your suppliers like the partners and the product are those who listed listed on our table that all the products you want to sell in quantity bought or sold unit amount could be unit cost of buying or unit cost of production and also unit cost of unit price of selling these are your unit amount with that you can go straight to recording our transactions so let's assume i have my transactions uh, recorded from march 1st to date i've been able to record my transactions from the 1st of march till today the 16th of march 2017 these are my transactions i have stock in of from zenith technologies 2010 unit cost and i have stock out now with this you have your stock balance you do this on daily basis once you receive stock you stock in and once you sell stock you stock out then you move to the dashboard and you have your stock balance you can see from the dashboard quantity of stock available today hp laptop 8.1 12 7 17 samsung is 11 as of yesterday if you can look at this as of yesterday hp laptop 8.1 was 2 the novel was 27 but because we've bought some new items and also sold some items this is current stock balance as of today why is the stock balance as of yesterday now for the quantity of stock available for group you need to bring out all the groups from their list i have my laptops 17 if you check laptops here 12 plus 5 17 then the group for desktop 7 you bring out the group for tablet this is how you bring out all the groups from this list box here phones and these are all we have one two three four five groups now let's go back to our stock record we want to sell out a product so let's type in 16th of march 2017 invoice number a10026 select stock out customer landlord backyard limited product we are selling is hp77 want to sell six of them once you see the product highlighted in red and you are seeing a red line across this wall, it means that you are selling above the quantity you have. What you need to do is before you sell, you need to check the stock balance. You come to our dashboard, HP laptop 77, I have minus one. As of yesterday, I had five, so I can only sell five and not six so go back to your stock record and oh sorry landlord we can only sell five 
that means five and the red line is off let's sell on that one 16 march 2017 a10026 stock out to general customers selling like a 310 20 you can see you don't have 20 now you can see that nokia is highlighted two times here it's because as of 16th which is today you sold 15 and you're selling 20. so total stock available as of today is less than what you want to sell go back to dashboard check nokia you have minus 15 so you can sell less than minus 15. it means you cannot sell this 20. i can only sell five you come to your dashboard nokia is zero that means you don't have any of this product available in your store the trick is once you buy you record once you sell you record once you receive stock you record once you, you issue stock you also want record now let's assume we want to add in a new group entirely want to sell samsung table fridge one one zero one one and the group is refrigerators now we've added a new group to uh this go to your dashboard and bring out that group refrigerators okay come back to our stock record we are receiving from a new supplier so come back to our setup type in the supplier ben johnson electronics supplier come to your stock record let's receive on the 16th march 2017 we are buying from ben johnson invoice number stock in partner we have ben johnson electronics and product we have samsung table fridge quantity we are buying 15 at the price of 55,000. Now, if you come to your dashboard, you see that product Samsung table fridge. We have 15 available as of today. The rest of the day, we had none available. Now, with this, you are good to go on this simple stock management template. Don't forget, you can go to our website on the account solutions and get more of our free template. Always contact us if you have any challenge using this template. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.